need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. To run a recorded macro, you can click the Macros button in the Macros button group on the View tab in the ribbon. If there are macros that are available to run, then you can choose the View Macros command from the Buttons drop-down. If you do not see this command, then you may not have any recorded macros available for use. Otherwise, once you select this command, you will see the Macros dialog box appear. You use this dialog box to manage your macros. A listing of the macros that are available will appear in the large white box shown within the dialog box. To run a macro shown in this list, click on its name to select it. Then click the Run button to run the selected macro. You can also delete macros that you no longer want or need to use using this dialog box. To delete a macro, select the name of the macro from the list and then click the Delete button. Click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears in order to delete it. Once you have finished using this dialog box, click the close button. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.